So let me ask you a question. What does the notion of decency have to do with the good life? And this is a deeply theological and ethical question. On the 16th of August 2022 at uh, 5.30 p.m. South African Cape Town time, I'll be delivering my inaugural lecture. And the tradition of the inaugural lecture is that uh, normally when you get promoted to full professor, and I was promoted in January of this year to full professor, that you would have something to profess. And so at that lecture, the professor professes what they have been working on. And, you know, the assumption is that, you know, 15 or 20 years after having completed your PhD, after years and years of reflection, of reading, of listening, of engaging society, that you might have one or two things to speak about. So what I did was I went and I had a look at all of my work uh, over the last more than 30 years since I've been uh, engaged in academic work. And I realized that from my very first article all the way to the most recent one, there are about 95 of them, uh, 37 peer-reviewed articles, about 30 uh, chapters in books and a whole lot of newspaper and, and other articles, uh, seven books that I've written, seven, I think six or seven edited volumes that in all of that work, one of the things that seems to run through all of it is this question of how we might live more decently with the indecencies, the injustices that we face in the world around us. Now, on the day in which I deliver my lecture, the 16th of August, uh, 2022, that will be the 10th anniversary of a very painful moment in South Africa's history. The event is the Marikana Massacre. Now, the Marikana massacre uh, took place between 14 and 16 August, when 47 uh, employees of the Lonman mine were killed brutally by the police for uh, engaging in a strike for better wages. Now, what I found interesting when I was reading about this Marikana strike was that um, an interview with one of the miners struck me. In the interview, uh, when they were asked what it was that they were protesting for, the miner said what we were wanting was to force the Lonman mine to give us not just a living wage, but a decent wage. Now think about that for a moment. A living wage is the mere standard of survival. Now I've wondered about that as a Christian, as, as someone who believes in a good God who created good for the intention of good, is mere justice, just survival, really what God wants for God's creation, for humanity? And I don't think so. I think that the decency is a standard that is higher than just survival. Now, the title of my lecture on that day will be um, Living More Decently in an Indecent World, The Virtues and Vices of a Public Theologian. Now, this title uh, comes from a quote by Kurt Vonnegut. It wasn't my own idea, this living more decently in an indecent world. He was asked, uh, I think it was somewhere in the 1980s, about how he managed to survive the Nixon presidency, that era in American history where there was large-scale political oppression, uh, where there was corruption in the state, there was rampant capitalism, economic inequality, racism, sexism, environmental abuse, the Vietnam War. And his answer to that was that, you know, he, he managed to carry on living because every now and then he met a saint. And what was a saint? Well, Vonnegut said, a saint was a person who was living more decently in an indecent world. So this got me thinking, and I came across the work of Margaret Avishai, who wrote a book on decency. Uh, that's the title of the book. I'll put a link to it uh, in the show notes. And in this book, Avishai um, su suggests that a decent society is a society in which uh, the structures of a society, the laws, uh, the institutions, do not humiliate its citizens. Now, I've thought a great deal about this in terms of the context in which I live, South Africa where we continue to deal with, with the, the, the evils of colonialism and apartheid. We continue to see racism, massive economic inequality amongst racial lines, spatial inequality, gender-based violence, xenophobia, uh, the destruction of, of our natural resources in South Africa. And, and part of what I'm wrestling with is to ask myself, as 
someone who is making a profession, a profession in 2022, particularly given who I am, having to acknowledge the fact that I am a white, male, heterosexual, Protestant, uh, cisgender theologian. What is it that I can confess? And I think this is the very important thing that I want to encourage myself to reflect on and invite others to reflect on with me. What might it mean to live more decently in an indecent world? Now, um, Avishai's uh, uh, reflections on what it means to live more decently, his notion on decently, he's an Israeli philosopher, comes from the context of Israel and Palestine, and particularly the occupation of Palestine by the Israelis. And, and he's trying to work out what might it look like for there to be justice in that area of the Middle East. And so, of course, my question is very much asking, what might it look like for us to, to live for a better world here where we are in South Africa, particularly in Stellenbosch in Cape Town in South Africa? So I wonder, what does this concept of decency mean to you? I know that very often decency has been used in a sort of very narrow moralistic sense where we've policed people's bodies or policed their dress sense or their speech. And I'm not wanting to deal with decency in that narrow way. What I'm wanting to do is use this, this concept of decency that, that came from that quote from the Marikana Minor that comes from Avishai's book to say, not just justice. Justice should be, should be a given. Uh, for every person who believes in, in the liberation that comes from Christ the Liberator, who lives in the kingdom of God, we should want to see justice fulfilled. But what might it mean to live decently, for decency, in a world in which humans and creation might flourish? as God has intended them to. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, just to say, if you're watching this before the 16th of August, 2022, and you'd like to tune in for the, the inaugural lecture, uh, I'm already nervous about it. It's about two weeks, just over two weeks away. Uh, drop a note in the comments and I'll share the link with you. If you're watching it after this, um, I'll, I'll put a link to, the, uh, to the, the, the YouTube recording of the video and you can watch it afterwards. So thanks for watching today and I'd love to hear your thoughts both on the topic but also on this notion of decency in theological ethics, what it might mean for a, a, a theologian, an ethicist, a public theologian uh, to profess this in 2022. So thanks for watching. Uh, leave me a comment. You can do so in, in uh, the, the comments below this video or at Digital Dion on Twitter or Instagram on my Facebook page, Dion A. Foster, or my website, DionFoster.com. Thanks for watching. Come hold me 